Welcome back to the Boss Championship Racing the semi-final round of our Formula One tournament. After two rounds, here are your top eight drivers. Today we will have Scott, Marco Polo, Arlo, and Major Finish joining us. This is part one of a two-part semi-final round. Each of these drivers have earned their points to make it to this stage of the tournament, and it will for sure be one exciting round. Well, I am your host, Nils Nilsson. Many of you refer to me as boss. And I'm Hamish McLeod. Looks like another great, great day for a motor car race, boss. It sure does, Hamish. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Truth be told, Nils, can I call you Nils? Of course. This is my first time around the track as an analyst. Oh, is that right? Well, where are you from? Aye, I've analyzed many races from me couch in Inverness, Eaton Haggis. Well, it's great to have you here with us. Let's meet the drivers in the Ferrari number 27. This is Scott from Turner Racing. Scott has had a great car all tournament long. Up next, this is number 11 from Polo Racing. This is Marco Polo. And lining up in the second row in the number 69, this is Arlo from Arlo Racing. Arlo has been one of our top qualifiers and is definitely gonna be one to watch. And from the back, this is Major Finish from Big Poppy Racing in the number six. And Major Finish has come from our first round through the second round and now into the semifinals. Well, we are ready to go racing. Up next will be race number one of four. Here we go. If you're new to the channel, here are the points for this tournament. The cars will rotate clockwise, and we will have four races to see who will come out on top. Lights out. The Scott gets away cleanly. Major finish with a nice inside line into that final corner, and Marco Polo can't make the pass. Scott will come away with the win for race number one. Here's the Boss Championship Racing instant replay. A very clean race number one. And at the line, Scott takes P1, major finish in second, Marco Polo in third, and Arlo in fourth. So here are the points after race number one. And on to race number two. The cars now rotate, major finish up to row one, and Scott alongside in the Ferrari number 27, and they're off. Major finish getting away, Arlo looking to make a move, can't make it work. And at the line, Major Finish able to hold off both Arlo and Scott. As we can see here, Arlo looking to make a move, just not able to make it work. And Scott also getting caught up behind. But they finished that one cleanly as well. So here are the points. Major Finish up to eight points. Scott with seven, Arlo with four, and Marco Polo with three. So on to race number three. Arlo and Major Finish in the front row. And the lights go green. Arlo with a great start. Marco Polo right behind. But Arlo getting away and gets the win. Scott coming in fourth, not able to make the move on Major Finish. And here is the replay. Marco Polo just not able to keep up with Arlo there. And Scott getting held up behind Major Finish. So after race three, we've got a close one. Major finish with 10, Arlo with nine, Scott with eight, and Marco Polo with six. And like much of the tournament, it comes down to this race, race number four. They go green. Marco Polo with a nice little lead. Scott right there. Big contact in that last corner at the line. Major finish, finishing in front of Arlo. That is huge in this tournament. Here's the replay. Scott making a run on Marco Polo and Arlo making some contact, which ended up proving to be costly because major finish coming from fourth to third gives him 12 points and the win. Well, let's go track side for more with Hamish. All I can say, Nils, is wow, what a race. Yeah, that's no joke. What'd you think of that last second pass there at the end? Major finish has given us the performance of his life leaving RLO SOL. Out of luck is right. Well, on to the tiebreaker. With 11 points each, Scott and Marco Polo will go head to head, a best of three, and the winner will move on to the final round. Green and they're off. 
Scott with a clear lead and looking to check out, crosses the line and takes race one of three in the tiebreaker. Here's the replay as we can see, Marco Polo not able to keep up there with Scott. And now we're gonna move on to race number two. Drivers will switch positions. Scott has the edge having the first seed, but anything can happen. Green and they're off. Marco Polo with a nice lead. Scott with some trouble there. And Marco Polo with a clear victory for race number two of this tiebreaker. And let's see what happened there with Scott. Gets up on the curb, a bit of a bounce. Hopefully the underbody is okay. And so now we are tied one to one. Whoever crosses the line first will move on to the finals. Green and they're off. Neck and neck. But now Scott getting away. Can Marco catch him? He cannot. And Scott will be moving on to the final round. Here's one last replay. No mistakes there and crosses the line. He will be moving on. But the bigger story is major finish grabbing the win for this semifinal part one. Major finish is quite the story having started all the way from round one and is now moving on to the final round. Definitely an underdog story, but that last corner coming into the straightaway, able to pass Arlo, made for quite the finish. It's so unfortunate for Marco Polo and Arlo as their cars were very fast, fast through qualifying through round two, but ultimately it came down to a couple mistakes which proved to be very costly. Well, Hamish, what did you think about today's race? Underdog, understatement. That major finish is the real deal, Nils. Well, we can definitely agree about that. Well, thank you again for watching here at Boss Championship Racing. If you haven't hit subscribe, go ahead and do so. I'm Nils Nilsson, and we will see you for part two of the semifinal round.